Detroit so far? Great city. Great city. Great city. They're doing a super job. This is unbelievable. You guys have rode out the red carpet for the world to see. First of all, this building is just immaculate. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And then all the people that are here and the celebrities and the, and the sports athletes and all walks of life of celebrity that we ran into this morning. It's just been absolutely amazing. Day one for me logistically really started out back in December when I started coordinating with the banner people, getting the banner up on the windows outside of the Marriott Hotel. And that's a lot of stuff that started taking place early on that people just didn't see. Um, and then they moved inside. So I've been working, they were the first group I really worked with. And then it was ESPN and then the NFL people um, because NFL took care of Radio Row, which is GM World and then the media center, which is GMU, and the conference center, and then um, obviously ESPN here in the Winter Garden and ESPN Radio. We knew that this is going to be the headquarters for the NFL, but this is the very first time that both entities, the media and the, and the actual offices, were going to be held in the same complex. So you can imagine the amount of teamwork that had to go in, not only from General Motors side, from the Heinz side, from the Marriott side, to make this work with several other entities as, as well. Well, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's a lot more than I really ever expected. And I've never seen a, a media center housed where there was a public element to it, which I think has really kind of created some interesting um, dynamics and a lot more excitement for the whole facility. I'm very impressed by the accessibility to all of the media. I'm glad that we can get very close to it and be able to hear what's going on with Sports Center and all the ESPN shows. Even though I, I work for General Motors and I come down here and I look at it, I, it's just a terrific job of how they transform this whole place into a media center for the people to come down here and experience the whole Super Bowl NFL experience. All the media people from Fox, from ESPN, wherever, uh, it's just been very, uh, I think it's changed the perception of probably Detroit in terms of what the city's all about. So, very well laid out, very good, good uh, Super Bowl. Logistically, trying to get everyone in, um, you can't see where we're standing at right now, but we've had people come in and determine standing room area and where we would put all of the fans trying to look at the superstars that were going to be here, I'm trying to get those superstars and sports personalities, getting them around the building. It's worked out well. Um, loving it. Loving every minute of it. It's very exciting. <laughs> kind of overwhelming trying to get the feel of everything. I mean, we saw Terrell Davis. Terrell Davis, Lynn Swan. Yeah. Lauren Moon. <laughs> yep. I'm surprised how close you can get to everything. We sat right by ESPN Radio this morning and saw uh, Emmett Smith and Franco Harris and uh, uh, you know some of my heroes when I was growing up, Lynn Swan and things like that. It's just absolutely amazing how close you can get to everything. And, it, and all the outlets are here. The amount of media is just amazing, absolutely amazing. You got ESPN right down the street. It's unbelievable. I've seen Franco Harris. I've seen all the greats. I mean, two tall Joneses. Who can believe this? Only 12 cities have hosted a Super Bowl. So that just goes to show you how much confidence the NFL had in, in the city and as well as what we had to, to provide for them. You know, the whole city looks really great. I mean, since we got here, everybody's been, I mean, super, super nice. You know, the hospitality's been great. And we've only been here three hours, but the hospitality's been great. Everything's very convenient. Beautiful. Hospitality's excellent. Having a great time. Detroit's a great city. It's great. In fact, I uh, was traveling on business, 
um, a couple days ago and came into the city through the Northwest Terminal and saw all of the uh, Super Bowl paraphernalia, saw the fans coming in, and, and being here today kind of ties it all together. So it's great how it ties the city as uh, visitors arrive and also here in the city to experience this great weekend. It's amazing. It uh, really shows what you know Detroit can do when it pulls together and the Rensen is the you know the crown jewel of Detroit and it, it looks at today. I actually live in downtown Detroit and uh, see all this come together and see people coming from other cities, other states, other countries and just being overwhelmed that it's much nicer, much cleaner, much safer than what they heard about. It's very fulfilling, not only from um, a standpoint that I'm actually involved in it, but also from a Detroiter sense. I think it's great, and I'm hearing nothing but positive feedback from everybody. So it's uh, it's proud. To, I'm proud to be a Detroiter right now.